Well, today it's April, I don't know, April 5th. And it is in Michigan, and we are 34 degrees. But some of my commercial buildings, like this one, this one's a bank. Um, their offices get hot up on the second floor just because of all the equipment. Well, as you can see right now, this one's running. But the fan isn't spinning, so there's head pressure control on this. And now the fan starts up. Just keep the head pressure up in the condenser so I don't freeze the unit upstairs. Um, so, this one's got a fan cycler on it. It's got a, it's got a little um, switch right in here. And it turns the fan on and off, depending on pressure. This one, never really thought about it, but I've been doing maintenance out here for years and we just installed this one back I can't remember when this is the R22 no this is a 410A this one got installed in 16 this is R22 this got installed in 2009 but we just installed this one I think two years ago but it never really occurred to me it didn't have a fan cycle switch on it so we're gonna put a head pressure control on there and what this does is it varies the speed of the fan I've had this on my unit at home for years and uh, well actually my other house and I had it on a ream condenser and I had it on there for years and I never had a problem with the fan so some guys don't like these because they say it wears out the fan. I disagree. Um, my fan at home ran for years and years and years with it. Never had a problem. So, I'll run you through on how to actually hook this thing up. Not very hard. It's got 24 volt input. It's got a sensor. And then we got a few adjustments we have to make. We're going to stay in the sleeve bearing, cut out and cut in. Um, it's not that hard to wire up, you just need a few extra wires. So let me get this opened up, we'll get this mounted and I'll start wiring it up. Okay, well that branch is in the way. <laughs> it's real close proximity of a bush. Power, huh? One, two. Uh oh, I got three phase. Maybe that's why I don't have fan control. No, I can still do it. Motor single phase, I think. Yeah, this is this is a three phase unit, but you got a single phase motor, so I can put the head pressure control on here. unit mounted. Room right here to mount it. So that's where I'll mount it. Got my power off.
mounted. Now, this is right here. And these carriers, they'll run the fan wire common over to the capacitor. I don't like that, so I put it on the contactor. Here's my black common wire for my fan motor. And we will put this right there on motor two. I've done a lot of these, so I kind of know um, where everything goes. Crankcase heater wire. Get that out of the way. Crankcase heater. So I got to get my probe hook on here. Probe goes there, and then. My voltage, I just take two wires off of here and run it to 24 volts there. So here's my hot and common. So hot and common right there. I just take pigtail wires off of here, run it up to here, run my probe, and I'll show you where to put the probe. Let me get the top off this thing. Okay, so in the directions it tells you you got to put that sensor right up at the top runs of the condenser. So it's right there. Just use a zip tie. And they can give you some plastic adhesive that goes with it and it doesn't work very well. So Today, it's uh, like I said, it's April 5th. It's supposed to have snow tonight. I'm not really happy about that. And uh, the weather kind of sucks, man. This needs to break so we can start doing some air conditioning stuff. Get these tied up. one probe or terminal the wires are really they're like 28 gauge wire they're really crappy wire Now I gotta make a few jumper wires up. 
got to make some jumper wires from here to here and my power wires from there to there. So let me do that really quick. Get right back with you. Okay, let's see if I get this wired up right. I've done a lot of these so I kind of can wire them up back of my hand sort of thing. So I got my 24 volts here. Oh no. The directions are going away. It's windy. But 24 volts here coming from upstairs goes to. I just jumpered off my other ones. Okay, it's still going to pull the contactor in for the compressor. So I'm just taking this, jumpering it off of there, running it up to my 24 volts here. Here are my sensor wires. And here's my high voltage wires, line one. That goes to the capacitor side. Believe it or not, line one is the capacitor side. See? Right here. Line two goes to where my motor once was. Now my motor's here. So, we're working 208, 230 single phase. So, 120, 240 volts. Line one, see how it jumps the capacitor. So, there's my capacitor wire, jumps over here. So I took power up to line one there. Line two, straight from black to up here. Then my fan motor, right there. 24 volt input, and we're gonna set this sleeve bearing. So I got a ball bearing range, sleeve bearing range. So, change that to max and cut in, cut out speed max. Sleeve bearing default setting max. Right there, that's where we want to be. So, let's get this thing started up and see how it runs, and I'll show you what it does. Alright. Got all the power turned back on. This one's up and running. Um, let's see. So we'll turn this one on. There we go. That's full speed. And it's going to knock it down. See, this one shuts off. This one runs it super slow. So depending on coil temperature, not coil pressure, or system pressure, this goes off of temperature, coil temperature. So as my coil temperature goes up, my fan speed goes up. As it goes down, it'll, it could completely just shut off. So this is the kind of way I like to operate my head pressure control. Uh, I don't like to do it like this with, on pressure, I like to do it on temperature. And it's speeding up, slowing down. And it varies, varies voltage to the motor. This one, 100% on, 100% off. This one, you're varying the voltage. Some people think it's bad for the motor, but honestly, like I said, I've had on my ream condenser at home, in my old house, I had it for years and never had to change that condenser fan motor. It ran like a champ. Go. Yellow LED for variable speed. Green LED for full speed. Now this is a three phase unit, but the motor's single phase so I can use that on here. There we go. Head pressure control. All right, guys. It was uh, total line head pressure control. I think uh, K 
can't remember the manufacturer that actually makes that control, but I don't know. I can't remember. That's that's a carrier control or a total line control. There are other manufacturers out there that do make this control. It's the same thing. I've used them before. The same thing. Wire up the same. Everything's the same. So that's it for this one. I will see you on the next one. Give me a give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. I have the 3,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. I got about. I think 20 more subscribers I need. Hopefully I can get there. I'll see you on the next one.